Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And just tonight on Facebook, two different young ladies questioned where their nudge distance was. And when you're clicked on something, your nudge distance goes away. So you've got to be selected on nothing. And there's your nudge distance right there. And that's not the real reason for the video because I have already explained it to them. But if you will hold down your control and your alt key and move it down and you'll see that plus sign. And then when you let go of the mouse button first and then the control, if you don't, you'll mess up. And then you can take that thing and park it up here on the toolbar. And it will always be there even when you have something selected. There's your nudge distance. So we'll set our nudge distance on one inch. And we'll click on our item and we'll move it up with the arrow key one inch. But it's still there all the time. Let's go to five inches. Click on your item. It'll move down five inches at a time. But the nudge distance is still always going to be on your toolbar to make it maybe a little bit easier. It's still right there when you're not selected. But when you're selected, it'll still be there. Now, as always, you need to go to tools and save as default. But just remember, when you drag that away, hold down the control and the alt, you see the plus sign, let go of your mouse first before you let go of those other two keys. Anyway, and you could leave it, you know, right there if you wanted to. The only different disadvantage in that when you change your distance, it might get in the way sometimes. So it's easier to put on your toolbar it would always be right there. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.